Welcome to Lockport, New York, just a stone's throw away from Canada. Located about 15 minutes from Niagara Falls, millions of tourists flood this region from all corners of the world. Right in the heart of Lockport is Spring Lake Winery, the crown jewel of the Niagara Wine Trail. It has been run by the Varro family since they came over from Italy in the 1940s. Hailing from Italy, Antonio Varro brought the tradition of winemaking with him. But the tradition of winemaking isn't the only tradition that the Varro family has. They love their Christmas traditions, which is why we are here. Can we cut? What was wrong with that? Cut. Cut. I got this. I'm going inside to get warm. You get the deal with the diva. What's wrong, Hannah? The script is terrible. It's well written, and you were reading your lines just fine. How many times do we say Spring Lake Winery in this segment? It's a television show. It doesn't matter. What's the script we're using? 17. What? Uh. You and Cash say Spring Lake Winery 17 times in the episode. It's a rhetorical question. Oh, sorry. Take, take five. Take five, everyone. Not you, Hannah. Miss Daly. Excuse me? Miss Daly. I never said you could call me by my first name. Hannah, we have been working together for four years now. Miss Daly. Is that better? Quite. It's how my agent says I deserve to be treated. It's in my contract for my new show. Whatever, hey. Miss Daly. This is the last episode in your contract. It's the Christmas special, for crying out loud. This is the script the network wants to use, and these are the lines you're going to say. Understand? Fine, but only because it's my last episode. Hey, man. You are needed on set, Miss Daly. Are you sure? Hannah, now. Well, isn't there a loophole or something? Yes, hello. Uh, whoever this is, Hannah will have to call you back after lunch. That was my attorney. I don't care who it was. You're needed on set. Mitch! Mitch, I need my phone! I need that. You'll get it back when we break for lunch. You can't do that. Yes, I can. You want to know why I can? Because I'm supposed to make sure that the set runs smoothly. Oh, and you want to know why the set's not running smoothly, Anna? Oh, I'm sorry. Miss Daly, everyone. Because of you. I don't know what's suddenly gotten into you since you're dating this hotshot agent. That's well, not true. Everybody here talks. Put, put the phone away and everybody can't wait to be done shooting so they can be done shooting with you. I don't know what ideas this guy's put in your head, but you're not as hot as you think you are. How dare you? Oh, how dare I? How dare you? Everybody here has been on set since day one, four years ago. And now we're all out of our jobs. The show didn't get canceled. It's over because you're deciding to walk away. What are they going to do for work? What about cash? The network's hoping that you change your mind. We haven't been able to even look for new jobs yet. Merry freaking Christmas, Miss Daly. Here's your phone back. Breaking for lunch, guys. Hit the van, Wolf. Get the camera. Coming? Uh, no, I'm gonna stay here with Hannah. You know, she doesn't need a babysitter. I know, but... <sighs> Whatever, there's, uh, sandwiches in the crafty cooler. Just don't eat all the fruit snacks. All right, uh, thanks. See you in an hour. Whatever. Hey, 
Hey, Dad. Hey, Cash. I figured you'd be on lunch now. Yeah, sure am. You don't sound too happy about it. Well, it started snowing again. Uh, Hannah threw a diva fit, and uh, the crew left for lunch, so. <laughs> and I'm sure you stayed behind with her. I did. What's going on with her? I don't know. But ever since she's been connected with this agent, she's been impossible. Sounds like she's getting a little too big for her britches. I, listen, I really don't want to talk about her right now. <laughs> Understood. So, what's up? What's the closest airport to you? Uh, pretty sure Buffalo. Why? Your mom and I miss you. I'm getting your plane ticket home for Christmas. Oh, no. I, I've been meaning to get it, Dad. I just haven't had time to look into it. Well, I do. Plus, your mom's nagging me. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I finished filming on the 14th and gonna stay here an extra day just in case we need to do some reshoots. Great. I'll get your flight to Cincinnati right out of Buffalo for the 15th. Does that work? Sure does. Thanks, Dad. I'll take care of it. Go get some lunch and try to relax. Will do. Love you, Dad. Love you too, son. Bye. Hey, there are sandwiches in the cooler. Thanks, but I am off carbs. <laughs> Jeffrey says I need to drop some weight. Jeffrey is a moron. Where is everyone? Not here. Hey, Mitch, where is everyone? Uh, they're with me. You anywhere near Hannah? You might want to put me on speaker. Uh, uh, okay, Mitch. You're on speakerphone. Hannah, can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. I just got a call from the producers. Okay. Remember how you insisted on flying up here first class? It wasn't me, it was my agent. Yeah, whatever. Turns out, the woman sitting next to you tested positive for a very nasty, contagious virus. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I thought you were gonna fire me. I wish. Uh, what does that mean, Mitch? It means we all have to quarantine. All of us? All of us. The entire crew, the Varos, anyone at the winery, anybody who has been in contact with us for the past 24 hours. So, where do we meet you? Oh, no. I don't think you understand me. There's a shelter-in-place order for you. You're not going anywhere. What? What about the crew and everyone else? We're with the CDC right now. They're locking the entire hotel down. We all have to quarantine together for the next two weeks. Two, two weeks? It's the federal orders. At least you guys have all that space. We're trapped in a hotel. But that's Christmas Eve. Yes, Hannah. I'm aware. We're all aware. And we thank you so, so much for this very beautiful Christmas gift. Everybody, say thanks, Hannah. Thanks, thanks Hannah. Hannah. Uh, OK, uh, uh, Mitch, um, what are we supposed to do? I mean, where are we supposed to sleep? <laughs> what are we going to eat? We don't even have a car to get groceries. Hannah, you have to shelter in place. The CDC has put a barricade, which means nobody's coming in and nobody's going out. <laughs> but it, no. Look, I gotta go and get my blood drawn. The Varos said that there's a cabin on the property that they use for the bridal suite. The key is on the fridge behind the bar. Got it. Look, I'll talk to you when I get to the hotel. Goodbye. Wait, where are you going? To the cabin. Can I come? I really wish you wouldn't. 
Why not? Seriously? Are you that self-absorbed you can't see what's going on? I'm sorry. It's my fault. I know it's my fault. Yes, it is. I... Listen, I just need some time to myself, okay? Unless you want me to go off on you the way Mitch did before lunch. You're right. I'll, I'll be in the holding. I mean, the tasting room. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Cash, I just bought your plane ticket. Well, see if you can get a refund. Uh-oh, what happened? We were all just quarantined here until Christmas Eve. Even you and Hannah? Dad, it's because of Hannah. Oh no, is she sick? No, at least not yet. She sat next to someone who tested positive on the flight here. If she just drove with the crew like I did, this never would have happened. Hey, Cash, don't be so hard on her. She's probably really beating herself up right now. Yeah, I seriously doubt that. So, are you all in a hotel or something? Dad, I'm quarantined here with Hannah at the winery where we're filming. Yikes. Is there a place for everyone to sleep? Uh, no. <laughs> You're not understanding me, Pop. It's just me and Hannah here. Nobody else. They were all on lunch when Mitch got the call. They're all quarantined at a hotel, but Hannah and I are stuck at the winery. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> interesting? Uh, Dad, it's a nightmare. Why? You and Hannah used to be so close. Yeah, a uh, key phrase there is used to. She's changed. All she cares about is herself now. Well, you better find some common ground again, or it's gonna be a very rough two weeks. Will do. I'll keep you posted. Okay, Cash. Love you. Love you too, Dad. And hang in there. Hey, Cash. I found the cabin. And? Hannah is gonna freak out. She's not with you? No. I needed to... I need some air. This is all her fault, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? I I'm the one who's stuck with her for the next two weeks. I don't know how you put up with it for so long, Cash. You need to remember, Mitch, that she hasn't always been like this. I mean, it's only been for the past few months, ever since she signed with that agent. Not gonna lie, it's hard to remember her before. Yeah, well, I've known her for a long time, okay? She's definitely going through something. 
You know the network doesn't want to end this show, right? I know. They're hoping that she changes her mind. I know. Think there's a chance? That she'll change her mind? Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea where her head's at. <sighs> That's what I thought you'd say. Well, even if she did, I mean, what about the crew? I, they don't even want to work with her anymore. Maybe not, but they want to work with you. Really, Cash? The crew loves you. You're the heart and soul of Destination Renovation. We don't even need Hannah. Mitch, I told you before, a show without her isn't an option. I don't know why you stand by her. It's called loyalty, Mitch. I mean, Hannah came up with the idea when we were back in college. I wouldn't be here without her. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. Listen, I wasn't calling to talk about the show, okay? I found the cabin. And? Do they have like an air mattress or something? I mean, there's nothing up here. You can't both sleep downstairs? It's one room. I don't know how comfortable she'll be. Ah, okay. I'll find out and I'll give you a call back, okay? Yeah, I appreciate it. Well, everything okay over there? So far, the last of the crew is getting tested and they're shuttling us to the hotel. Okay, well, keep me posted. Will do. Oh, and uh, let me know about the mattress, okay? Yeah, later, Cash. Bye. Contract. It was a mistake. I'll talk to you later, Bernie. Everything okay? Yeah. Yep. Totally. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you see the cabin? I did. And? It's sparse. Sparse? How sparse? Well, you can tell people don't sleep there. Uh, there isn't a bed. <laughs> Where are we supposed to sleep? Oh, I asked Mitch to get you an air mattress for the loft upstairs. What about you? There's a couch downstairs. We'll be fine. Is there a bathroom? Yep. With a shower and everything. OK. Want to go check it out? Yeah, sure, I guess. Don't freak out, okay? I won't. <laughs> okay, come on. It's really pretty here. Huh? The winery, the land, it's really pretty. Yeah, it is. It has a lot of potential. That's why Mitch and I chose it. I see. We had a lot of plans for it, too. I know. I read the script. Oh, you mean the one you didn't like? <sighs> Look, it's sparse, very rustic. <laughs> it's not meant to be lived in. OK. Don't freak out. I won't. I mean it. You freaking out is going to make everything worse. This is where we're going to be living for the next two weeks. I know. I won't freak out. Promise? I promise. OK. Well, this isn't so bad. You're OK with it? Sure, why not? I don't know, Hannah. You just changed a bit over the past few months. Where are the bedrooms? There are no bedrooms. No bedrooms? It looked like there was an upstairs from the outside. Oh, there is. It's a loft. Can I see it? There's really nothing in it. I'd still like to see it. Fine. 
Come on. See? Empty. Wow. You really weren't kidding. Yeah. I called Mitch to see if there was an air mattress around here somewhere, but... Okay. Okay. That, that works. You're freaking out. I'm not freaking out. Yes, you are. I can see the look on your face. You're freaking out. No. Nope. I'm good. Okay. Yep. It could be worse, Hannah. I know. Doesn't this remind you of the first place we renovated? Yes, it was the scout camp in Virginia. The summer between junior and senior year of college. <laughs> we had no clue what we were doing. <laughs> Our very first episode. I don't know what we were thinking. We thought we could do anything. As long as we had each other, right? Right. <laughs> kind of appropriate that things are ending here, isn't it? Cash. <sighs> oh, it's Mitch. Uh, hey, Mitch, you're on speaker here with Hannah. I just spoke with Tammy Varro. She's quarantined in her house, so her neighbor's gonna drop off some supplies at the barricade. Where's the barricade? By the main road. That's a really long walk. Well, at least you're wearing comfortable shoes. Uh, please thank her for us, Mitch. Yeah, sure. Chat later. Get off of me! You said you weren't gonna freak out. I'm not freaking out. Stop saying that. Okay. <sighs> Thank you. Look, I'm gonna head over to Crafty and bring everything here. Do you want me to help? No, that's okay. Uh, maybe you can bring the wardrobe rack and everything from the tasting room. Why? Hannah, we're gonna be here for the next two weeks. Just me and you. We have to do everything ourselves. No one is working for you. No PAs, no hair, no makeup, no wardrobe, no show. Oh my goodness, no clothes? Right. Except for what's on the wardrobe. Like. Exactly. Okay, cash, I'll get that. Great. Let's just bring everything into the cabin. Okay. Okay. Really? You're not gonna go off on some rant about your agent and doing some menial Would pat? you like me to? No, that's okay. Let's go. Crafty is gonna take me a couple of trips and then I'll come help you out. I'm no stranger to hard work, Cash. Yeah, I know. It's just, well, you've been avoiding it lately. Because it isn't written in my contract. It's not written in mine either, but I still do it. But my agent says- Hannah, knock it off, okay? Knock what off? The whole my agent bit. It's getting really old. You're dating the guy, we get it, okay? I'm not dating him, Cash. At least, not anymore. Oh. Sorry. And he is my agent, but- Nothing, never mind. Can you just come help me when you're done with Crafty, okay? Yeah, sure. Put this on a bracelet. 
Because a charm is just a memory Now I have had all I can take Of suffering and sacrifice Now I am not helping one single being When I count myself out I am not doing myself a service When I push it all down this hard since the episode where it was just you and me in Mattituck, New York. Yes. Oh my goodness, that old boathouse. <sighs> we didn't even have a show then. Uh, technically we did. Only on social media. With over four million subscribers, that's what got us here. True. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. But where are you going? Uh, to the barricade. Right. Supplies. I forgot. I'll come. I'm sure I can handle it. No. I want to. It actually sounds kind of fun, you know? It does? Yeah, it takes me back to when we first started. Yeah. <laughs> We've come a long way. We sure have. Too bad this is the end of the road, huh? All right, come on. I made a mistake. No kidding. No, really, I did. Again, no kidding. Gosh, I'm trapped, and I don't know what to do. What do you mean? Jeffrey, my agent, he wasn't honest with me. <laughs> Listen, I told you not to trust him when we first met him. I know. I don't need and I told you so right now. I need help. OK. What happened? We dated. I trusted him. He really won me over. He gave me a contract to sign and pressured me into signing it. I, I wanted my attorney to look it over, but he kept pressuring me and pressuring me and saying that if I trusted him, I would sign. So you signed? I did. What was in the contract? He slipped in this clause where he controls all of my earnings. All of them cash. He gets to decide what I do and don't do. Hannah. I was going to say something, but I don't know what to do. Jeffrey's the one that decided to end the show, not me. He wanted me to be the only host of Destination Renovation. Are you? I would never do that. That's why I've been trying to get everyone to hate me, is so they wouldn't feel so bad when the show ended. But that's not the way to go about it, Hannah. I mean, you've hurt a lot of people. I know. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. Jeff is ruining me. Hey, come here. No, it's, don't be nice to me. I've been so awful. Listen, I understand why now, OK? But Hannah, you should have told me. No. I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to lose the show. I don't want to lose the team. Cash, I don't want to lose you. You'd never lose me, OK? You're my best friend. I haven't acted like it lately. Don't worry about it. We'll get through this. I asked my attorney to look it over, but he can't get me out of it. Well, we've been through worse together, right? Just let me help you. Please. 
Okay. Guess I could use all the help I can get. Come on. Let's go get everything for the cabin before it gets dark. Aw, someone went shopping for us. Mmm, what's that smell? Looks like they got us dinner, too. Good, because I am famished. And so am I. Uh, let's take this back to the cabin and eat. Oh, OK. Here, I'll take the tub, OK? Really? Why the sudden change? I don't want to make you hate me anymore. Hannah, I could never hate you. Come on, let's get back to the cabin. I'm getting cold. Yeah, right. OK. Can I top you off? No, thanks. Are you sure? We still have half a bottle left. That's the good thing about being quarantined at a winery. We'll never run out of wine. Cheers to that. I'll go clean up. Uh, just throw it away in the trash. I'll take it out in the morning. No, I can take it out tonight. Probably not a good idea, Hannah. Why not? Bears? <laughs> You nearly had me. I, I deserve that. I'm serious. There are bears up here. OK, we'll just take it out in the morning. No problem. I'm going to go look for some blankets. Sounds good. Watch out for bears. Hey, Cash, how's it going? Pretty good. How you doing, Mitch? Peachy. Room service is pretty good. Much better than the sandwiches you had from Crafty earlier. Actually, whoever gave us the blankets and stuff left us some food from a restaurant nearby. Zambistro? Yeah, that's the one. Remind me to have the network send them something nice. Uh, that's where we were when I got the call, and now their entire dining room turned into a sick bay. Uh, you know, funny you should mention the network. <laughs> Oh, no. Now what? Oh, it's nothing bad, Mitch. I just need a little favor. Sure, Cash. What's up? I need you to look into an agent for me. Make sure he's legit. You know, license, bond, whatever they need to be an agent in New York State. OK. Who? Jeffrey Bastian of Bastian Talent Agency. Isn't that Hannah's agent? Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I think that is. Uh, yes, yes, it is. Why? I just have a feeling, okay? Mitch, Hannah doesn't want the show to end, okay? It's a long story, and I can't go into it now, but it's this guy that's done everything. He's controlling her. Really? Yeah. I mean, the thing she told me, Mitch, I just feel really bad for her. Well, I don't. I'll look into it for you, but that's it. She really doesn't want the show to end. Yeah? Well, then she better figure out what we're going to do for our Christmas special. Look, I got to go. My food just got here. Yeah. OK. Just look into him for me, will ya? I, I'll do what I can. See ya. Bye. There you are. Here I am. I've been looking for you. Well, it's a small cabin. I just needed some air. Uh-oh. Sounds like you've been thinking. Why do you say that? I just needed some air. Is cash speak for having something on your mind? Yeah, I guess. You want to talk about it? No. Not really. 
Not yet. I'm still trying to work it out in my head. Okay. I'm here when you want to speak to me. Thanks. Do you want to get some air inside? I don't want you to get eaten by a bear. I'm serious. Bears. Okay. Okay. Hey, are there any towels? No. Oh, shoot. I wanted to shower. Wow, you must have something on your mind. Why do you say that? You always used to say your best ideas came to you in the shower. Can I at least get a hint? I don't know how to put it into words. Maybe I can help. <sighs> Hannah, I get why you were acting like a diva. Okay, I do, I really do. But it's gonna take me a minute to get over how you treated the rest of the crew. How you treated me. Gosh, I'm so, so sorry. I know I approached it the wrong way. I should have told you. Yeah, and I really don't understand why you didn't. Just give me a little space, okay? But you'll come around, right? Yeah. I will. But you just need some air. Okay. Well, I'm here whenever you're ready. Thanks. Thanks for making my bed. You're welcome. You need help up there? No, I'm all set. Okay. Good night, Hannah. Night, Cash. Uh, 7.30. Uh, I got an idea that's gonna change everything. What? I got an idea that's gonna change everything! Can you take your toothbrush out of your mouth? Uh, right, um, sorry. I've got an idea that's gonna get everything back on track. Okay. 
We're gonna go back to how we did things when we first started. Started at the winery? No, in college. Yeah, I I'm gonna need coffee before I listen to this. Okay. Oh, I need to call Mitch. Uh, this is gonna be great. So let me get this straight. You're telling me that you want to film an entire episode of Destination Renovation on your phones? Did I get that right? Yeah. That's exactly what we did in college before we were picked up. Using phones? Yeah. We've done it before. We haven't done it in a while, Cash. And a higher level of production quality is expected of us. I hate to agree with Miss Daly, but I do. How are we going to get everything renovated on our own? The crew can't get here. And you don't have anyone to film you while you're decorating. It doesn't make sense, Cash. But it does. Trust me on this, Mitch. We're going to get so many viewers because we'll be able to stream it to the supporters that have watched from the beginning and for the new fans. It'll be a combination of both. I need coffee. Uh, instead of renovating, we'll be decorating. We'll turn this place into a winter wonderland. For what? It's set half a mile back from the street. It's not like anyone's gonna see it. Which is why we're gonna have a festival. A festival? A festival? Well, more like a winter carnival, but yeah, you get the idea. Uh, we can build huts for photo ops, string lights, we'll make this place look like it's out of a Christmas movie. You don't even have enough time. All we have is time. I mean, we're stuck here for two weeks. Thirteen days. Whatever. <laughs> we can call it Winter at the Winery. Winter at the Winery? What do you think, Miss Daly? Mitch, call me Hannah. I'm sorry about everything. Oh. Well, that was unexpected. Why the sudden change? I'll tell you all about it when I see you at the festival. You two really think you could pull this off? Yeah, actually. It sounds like a lot of fun. I can get supplies by calling in sponsors, like how we used to. Uh, but we're gonna need your help, Mitch. You and Scripty. What do you need Scripty for? Well, we're gonna have to go through the dailies, uh, which is something we didn't have back then. I mean, Scripty can help us keep up with continuity and, uh, Tell us what we're missing. I'll talk to her. Are you guys sure? Because I'm going to have to call the network and get it cleared by them first. If Cash thinks we can do it. I know we can. Then I'm in. All right. Keep me posted. We will. OK. We got a lot to do. We need vendors and supplies and decorations Cash, and... sit down. I can't sit down, there's so much to do. I need you to sit down so we can make a list. Pull it back a little, Cash. I know you're excited, but there isn't anyone helping us. It's gonna be a ton of work. I know. All right, first things first, we need to clear the idea with the Veros and make sure they're okay with it. Mitch can do that. Next, we need decorations, lights, wreaths, anything to make it a winter wonderland. Uh, you can call some vendors around the area and see if they can donate anything. Right, because we don't have a budget. Exactly. Cash, I don't know if this is going to work. Why not? It's so close to Christmas. People might not have the supplies or be willing to part with them, or they might just be too busy. We won't know if we don't try. All right, I'll make those calls. Uh, what is this about huts? Not full huts, just simple constructions with awnings, just in case it snows. People can have different things in them. There can be activities like wreath making and wine glass painting. Others can be photo ops. Okay, this is a great idea. We can just use the lumber we're getting anyway. Right. Perfect. Um, I'll start with decorating the tasting room. Uh, maybe a restaurant can come in and do a dinner or something out on the terrace. On Christmas Eve? No way, people are with their families. Right. I forgot. But what about Christmas Eve brunch? Hannah, that's a great idea. I have them sometimes. The camera crew can just come to the brunch, and we can use the footage of the winery in the beginning to have really polished bookends. With our shows shot on our phones in the middle. Exactly. Tesh, this is a terrific idea. Thanks. 
All right, uh, you go get started in the tasting room and I'll call Mitch and tell him the plan. Okay. What's up, Cash? Uh, we're all set here. I just need you to call the Veros and make sure everything is still a go. We've got a contract with them, it's fine. Well then, just let them know what's going on. I don't want anyone more upset than they already are. Good idea. I'm sure they'd be happy to know that we're still gonna do an episode featuring Spring Lake Winery. Exactly. Uh, do you think you can get that lumber order delivered today? I haven't had time to cancel it. It'll be there at two. Um, I think they're going to be dropping it off at the barricade. Great. <laughs> um, did you get a chance to look into Jeffrey yet? Bro, well, I just woke up. I can start after I call the Veros, okay? Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. Just a little anxious. Hannah sounds like she's back to her old self. Yeah, I think she is. What did you do? Nothing. Come on, Cash. Somebody can't just do a 180 like that without any outside influence. <laughs> Seriously, Mitch. I, I just... I don't know, I just listened to her. Oh, all right, maybe that's all she needed. Yeah, maybe. All right, I'm gonna see if I could get scripty after I make those calls. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Oh, oh uh, Mitch? Yeah? Thanks. Sure. This is gonna be great. I have never seen you this excited about a project before, Cash. It's not just a project, Hannah. It's a new beginning. I hope so. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hannah, I promise we'll find out a way for you to get out of your contract. Just trust me, okay? I do. Uh, okay, uh, so why don't you head up to the tasting room, uh, plan out what you want to do. Uh, I'll take some pictures of important locations around the property and uh, see what we can use. Uh, meet you back here in two hours. Okay, uh, I'll start calling the vendors too. Perfect. <laughs> we got this, Hannah. This is going to be our best episode yet. You know, you may be right. Take my hand and leave the past behind 
Hey. Perfect timing. I was just finishing up. Did you make any calls yet? Not yet. I was measuring everything. You want some lunch? No, I'm not hungry. You sure? There are some leftover sandwiches in the cooler. Ew, don't eat that cash. They've been out for two days. They're fine. They've been in the cooler. Go make yourself something with the groceries they gave us. Or you can order in. We can order dinner later. You sure you're not hungry? Yeah, I want to make those calls. Meet you back here with the lumber at two? Uh, sounds good. I can plot out where the huts will be. Cool. Meet back at two. Yeah. Hello? Hey, Cash. It's Scripty. Hey, Scripty. How you doing over there? As well as can be expected, I guess. At least I have this to work on with Mitch. Uh, the rest of the crew is bored out of their minds. I can imagine. So what's up? Mitch wanted me to tell you that everything's been cleared with the Vero family. He said you know what that means. Awesome. I wanted to go through the format of what you guys are filming. If you're going to put together an episode, we need to talk about the structure that the network needs. Do you have a minute? Yeah, sure. For the beginning, we can use all the B-roll that we filmed. Um, we can get a new intro written. Oh, that's a cool idea. Uh, maybe talk about quarantine? I think it's a good idea as kind of a milestone, acknowledging everything that's gone on over the past two years. Perfect. And if not, Hannah and I can always record voiceovers. Uh, yeah, that works too. Um, for the first 10 minutes about the show, you talk about the location, mention Spring Lake Winery and the Vero family. Uh, maybe show different parts of the location and talk about like what you plan on doing. Yeah, pretty simple. Just like all our other episodes. Only all of your other episodes were scripted. Not when we first started out. I get that, but I'm going to have to write a new script based on what the two of you say during the episode. Hold on, Scripty. Okay, I get it. Speak slowly and clearly, and try to repeat all the exact lines and motions for each take. Exactly. That's the same for the entire episode, whatever you shoot. Listen. I know you're stressed, but it's gonna work out. We'll be fine. As long as you follow the format. And the next 10 minutes is about which one of us is doing each task, right? Right. You'll have to take turns filming one another. Copy that. Uh, then what? Actually doing the task? No. We need to talk about how the two of you are putting together a winter carnival for the locals and why it's so different. Ah, good call. Mitch is on the phone with the network to see if we can do a live event on Christmas Eve directly from the festival. That's a great idea! Yeah, if we can do it. Especially since this episode's supposed to air on Christmas Eve. I love that. I figured this all out, all right? So you're gonna need to spend 20 minutes on all the decorating that you're doing. And that'll leave the base episode at 45 minutes with credits and commercials, and then another 45 minutes for the live event. But that's an hour and a half. Exactly. We'll have a 45 minute live event. This is really great, Scripty. <laughs> if it works. It will work. I hope so. Oh, and also, can you have Mitch send over our clothes from the hotel? Even though the snow is melting, it's still pretty cold. And we don't have wardrobe or a washing machine. I'll see what he can do. Thanks. Oh, I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye, Cash. Hang in there. You too.
thank you so much. I look forward to getting it tomorrow. Bye. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't look so hot. I'm fine. You ready? Yeah. Hey there, Cash Gibson here. We are outside the barricade that is keeping Hannah and I inside here at Spring Lake Winery and everyone else out. We are currently waiting for a delivery of lumber that I will then use to make little huts for our vendors here at our very first winter festival. Hannah is busy at work making calls to local vendors here in Lockport to see if they want to be a part of it. Then we'll get to building. Come check it out. Cut. How was that? That was great. <laughs> You're a one take wonder. I guess the delivery is running late. Let's head back to the cabin and get warm. Good idea. Hey, Cash, are you feeling OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. Cash? Cash, wait. What? You're breathing funny. What? What's wrong? I'm fine. I'm fine. Cash? I shouldn't have eaten that sandwich. No, 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 no. Cash? Cash? Come on. Come on, let's get you to the cabin so you can rest. Cash. Uh, I'll be right back. Steps, you can rest all you want. So I'll be back after every trip. I'm just gonna go to the barricade to get the rest of the stuff. Be back.
Hannah, where's Cash? Sleeping. Sleeping? This early? Mitch, Cash is sick. Sick? How? We all tested negative. I think he has food poisoning. He ate one of the sandwiches from Crafty. Ugh, gross. That'll do it. It needs to be thrown out last night. We're still on schedule. You are? Yeah, everything we wanted to accomplish today got done. Okay, 12 days to go. You really think you could pull this off? Yes, even if I have to get it done by myself, it will get done. I'm sure Cash will be back to normal in a day or two. I hope so. <sighs> All right, Hannah, call me tomorrow if you need to. Mitch, wait. Yeah? I'm sorry. I'm listening. It's a really long story that I don't want to get into right now, but I am so, so sorry for how I treated you and the crew. It'll never happen again. Yeah, okay. Thank you for apologizing. Can you pass it on to everyone else? I'll apologize to them in person, too. Sure. I don't want this show to end. Cash and I are trying to figure it out. Figure what out? All you have to do is say yes. Like I said, it's a really long story. I promise I'll fill you in on another time. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Harry, it's Mitch. I need you to look into Jeffrey Bastion and Bastion Talent Agency. Give me a call back whenever you get this. Okay, bye. Cash, hey, Cash, take a sip of this, okay? Thanks. I'm right here if you need me. I always need you, Hannah.
Hey there, sleepyhead. Hey. Hey. How are you feeling? Hannah, it's been a week. I'm fine. You don't have to keep asking me every day. It was just food poisoning. I know, I know, but I've never seen you that sick before. It scared me. Well, it scared me too. But we're all good now, right? Everything's coming up roses. <laughs> well, I am all done with the tasting room. It looks great. Oh, uh, do you want me to film now or later? Oh, later, for sure. Oh, hey, Mitch, perfect timing. We were just talking about the show. Great, she's there? Hi, Mitch, I'm right here. Hannah, I've got great news for you. Really? What's up? Last week, Cash asked me to check into Jeffrey Bastion and Bastion Talent Agency. I didn't tell him why. No, he didn't. And I didn't really know what I was looking for, so I called a friend of mine whose dad has been an agent for a very long time. Okay, and? In a nutshell, Jeffrey Bastion isn't who he says he is. What do you mean? His real name is Sebastian Jeffries, and Bastion Talent Agency is a shell company. Are you kidding? No, Hannah, your contract is null and void. I would change all my bank accounts if I were you. I haven't set them up yet. I was gonna do it after the shoot. Well, you're really lucky. Well, what does this mean for the show, Mitch? That's the best part. Destination renovation was extended for another three seasons. Three, three seasons? seasons? That is, if you want to continue, Ms. Daly. Very funny, Mitch. I'm sure you guys can find some champagne around there. <clears throat> Pop a bottle open and celebrate. We sure will. Congratulations, you two. Mitch, thank you so much. Don't thank me. Thank Cash. Thanks so much, Cash. I told you I didn't trust him. And I told you not to eat that sandwich. Well, everything worked out for the best, right? It always does. Let me put together dinner, OK? What? I want you to trust me, okay? I know you have some stuff to finish up. Meet me at the terrace at seven. But that's three hours away. Is that enough time to finish up the huts? Should be plenty of time. What are you up to? You'll see. Cash. Hi. This whole thing is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Wow. <laughs> Anna, you look beautiful. You like it? I do. Very, very much. I ordered dinner. I hope it's not cold. No, oh, that's great. <laughs> it's perfect. I can't believe you went through all this trouble. How could I not? This is all for you, Cash. Everything. I wanted to show you how much I appreciate everything you do for me. For us. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. It's more than thanks. What do you mean? I'm just gonna put this out there. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Maybe we've been stuck together for so long, but I need you to know. Know what? Cash, we met on the first day of college and we've been friends ever since. Best friends. Yeah, I know. 
from starting this show during our junior year of college, being picked up by a network, <laughs> traveling the country together. It's been an incredible ride. A ride I wouldn't want to be on with anyone else. I feel the exact same way. Stop I... interrupting me. I've been trying to figure out what to say to you this whole day. Okay, okay, you're just getting me nervous. I mean, what, are you leaving the show? Is this it? What? No way. Hannah, okay, you don't need to let me down gently. Okay, I get it. I know it's been hard on you. Cash, I love you. What'd you say? I love you. I think I've loved you. Since the day we met, I was just afraid that you wouldn't feel the same way. When you were sick, I thought there was a chance it was the virus and that I'd lose you. I don't want to. I can't lose you. You made me into the woman I am today, and I never, ever want to be away from you. Don't tell me that I just made a fool out of myself. If, if you want to, we can just forget it ever happened. I love you too, okay? Welcome to Lockport, New York, just a stone's throw away from Canada. Located about 15 minutes from Niagara Falls, millions of tourists flood this region from all corners of the world. Right in the heart of Lockport is Spring Lake Winery, the crown jewel of the Niagara Wine Trail. It has been run by the Varro family since they came over from Italy in the 1940s. Hailing from Italy, Antonio Varro brought the tradition of winemaking with him. But the tradition of winemaking isn't the only tradition the Varro family has. The Vero family celebrates Christmas in their own special way every year, just like millions of people all across the world. Some stick to older traditions, some have new ones. Some people don't know what they're doing for the holidays until the very last minute. Take Hannah and I, for instance. We both thought we were gonna be spending a cozy Christmas at home with our families, but instead, we found ourselves here, in this rustic cabin at Spring Lake Winery, quarantined for two weeks. No friends, no family, not even our crew, just us. Now, don't worry folks, we're both healthy and we never got sick or had any kind of symptoms. But out of an abundance of caution, we both stayed here and created a brand new tradition at the winery and for ourselves. Come check out what Hannah and I did on this very special Christmas episode of Destination Renovation. happy more 
And that's commercial. It's like two seconds. Seriously. Yep. Hey. Yeah. Hey, what's Hi, up, you two? So the episode is ready to start. Live feeds will be on in about 45 minutes. Oh, uh, 43 minutes and 28 seconds. <laughs> right, thanks. Well, great. Are we starting at the huts? Yep, just like we discussed, Paige will be in there. Good care of you. Okay, well, we'll head over there now. You know. You guys really did a great job. Make a good team. Well, we couldn't have done it without you. Yeah. You guys, come on. <laughs> here. Me too. No, no, oh, you me too. Me too. All right, fine, come on, get it. <laughs> yeah. This is great. This really did turn out great. You know, it did. We do make a pretty good team. Always have. Always will. As long as you'll have me. Hannah. I'll never let you go. As you can see from everything that Hannah and I went through these past two weeks, sometimes things that start out bad turn out to be really great. Better than expected, actually. And appearances can be deceiving. Sometimes something that is beautiful and appealing on the outside is damaged beyond repair on the inside. And sometimes things that appear as though they might not be worth your attention become the best parts of your life. The stronger the support, the better the structure. No matter what you celebrate this holiday season, we hope that you are surrounded by friendship, happiness, and love. We'll see you next season on... Destination, Destination Renovation. Renovation. Happy holidays, everyone. a good take. Good. Are we good with that? So sorry. <laughs> Shy, cause you caught my eye. So come 